So you've been ignoring this new addition to dribbling in NBA 2K23, and I get it. In NBA 2K23, these moves were very flat and not very dynamic. But the crossover combos, as they are now called in NBA 2K24, are some of the best ways to shift your defender around and make them move those puppies, make them move those feet so you can attack them off the bounce and get into your shot creation. Trust me when I say you better believe you shouldn't ignore these moves in NBA 2K24. They're gonna help you out in so many situations and I'm even going to show you how to do advanced combos with them. So again, crossover combos are basically your switch back combos which are done by tapping the right stick from right to left or left to right to your non-ball hand or to your ball hand. The Iron Foxes right here is very shifty. It's a good way to get your defender to move their feet and from there you can attack them at angles. You can even even combo them up. You want to make sure that you find the optimal launch point so that when you launch out of this crossover, it's very sharp. So again, in NBA 2K23, as you can see right here, these were your switchback dribbles, which were very flat. But in 24, these are dynamic. Just take a look at how I shifted Steph Curry right here. Out of a moving step back, into that switchback combo, caught Curry flat-footed, launched into a crossover, and Draymond Green, you can't contain the Iron Fox, baby! And with how fast their crossover launches are right now, that's going to be the key to shift your defender's footwork and body around and then launch out of it and then get into your advanced finishes. And with how fast launches are right now, these are really some of the best ways to get to the basket. Guys like Kevin Werther stood no chance against Jordan Poole right here. And here's an example of not launching at the right time. You saw that launch, it's not very quick, not like when I did it earlier and it was timed correctly. So in this clip right here, I was a little bit late launching. Um, it resulted into that it's not as sharp as my earlier launches, which were perfect. As you can see right here, it was more of a push left stick cross. It still got us in that contact situation, but then I needed to be creative in order to counter John Morant's contact and finish at the basket. See, just compare that here where I launched perfectly. That was a nice sharp crossover, getting us into that floater. So this is Steph Curry's switchback combos in 23. Again, very flat, very stationary. But take a look at this sauce right here in 24. And then you combo that up with your different dribble moves with your moving step backs, man. Look at Jordan Poole's right here. This was basically not very useful. It, it looked like Jordan Poole, but it wasn't very dynamic. You're very flat. You're very stationary. But now JP in 24, look at this. Look at how he shifts Kevin Werther around. My good. Goodness. And one way I like to use this is out of our screen and rolls. Take a look at this right here. We, we pretend we're going over the screen with our switchback combo. Cross over into it. Man, stop flopping, Marcus Smart. Come on. So this really is about attacking your defender's footwork, making sure that these switchback combos shift your defender around. Look at here, we force Steph Curry to open up his stance, which will mean he'll have to change his stance in order to defend us once we cross him up. And this is just a tough finish from John Morant right here. My favorite shot creator in NBA 2K23 also got blessed with a great switchback combo. Look at Lonzo Ball trying to cut us off to our right here. We immediately hit him with that cross and you know what? Let's hit him with that Devin Booker step back jumper for good measure. Another of my favorite shot creators in 23 who already had the best switchback combos then just got that massive upgrade in terms of his shot creation. Don't sell for the jump shot if you're Zach Levine, man. Although his step back jumpers are great, take a look here. Josh Okogi tried to take that extra step to cut us off and then bye bye this right stick dunk through contact. What are you trying to do Josh? And one of my favorite things to do is to combo this move with your advanced dribbles here. I combo that switch back combo into an attack crossover into a step back jumper using that momentum to really blend those three moves together and that was so sweet. Take a look at this move right here. We can combo this directly, the switch back combos directly into your advanced dribble breakdowns getting us that nice crossover launch or that step back jumper and Jordan Poole man he's so saucy. One of my favorite players right now in NBA 2K24 his moves are so great at shifting your defender around whether you're trying to cross him up or get into your advanced shot gathers Jordan Poole has it all so if your defender is trying to crowd you again take advantage of that crowding defense hit that switch back combo combo it with your different right stick moves here I combo it with a behind the back launch you know he's not trying to cut me off to the right seeing that open lane but instead I hit him with that new step Cur Steph Curry step back animation 
there you have it switch back combos as they were in 23 now known as crossover combos in 24 and if you ignored it in 2k23 it's it's time to get it's time to get hip to it man these are some of the best moves in nba 2k24 not everyone has some good animations as you can imagine guys who are shiftier like steph curry like the iron fox have the best animations in the game so try them out give them a look incorporate them to your combo creation these are going to help you out so much in terms of your shot creation.